Even though voters approved the tax override in November to pay for a new library, the Belmont Library Foundation is still busy raising private donations which will lower the burden of the local taxpayers. Today the foundation will accept donations from Cityside Subaru and East Cambridge Savings Bank. And now we're here with Rick White, co-owner of Cityside Subaru. I'm Nathan White, general manager of Cityside Subaru. From the children, adults, and seniors of Belmont, we want to thank you for your donation. And I want to ask you, is there any memory that you would like to share about the library? Yeah, I'm a big fan of libraries and communities. Uh, as a, My mother was a librarian, and as a small child, young adult, I spent a lot of time in libraries. And it's a great place for meeting people and educating yourself. Big fan. Why is it important for Cityside Subaru to donate to this project? Uh, we want to be a, a really good corporate citizen in Belmont. Um, we do a lot with the Foundation for Belmont Education, and the library is just, as far as I'm concerned, a spillover to that, except it, it deals with education for the whole community, not just school-age children. So it's, it's a good project for us, and it's one where it'll have lasting value. And now we're here with Joe Amoroso, uh, Chairman of the Board of Directors of East Cambridge Savings Bank. Jilda Nugera, President and CEO of East Cambridge Savings Bank. Thank you so much from the children, adults and seniors in our town for your donation. I just want to ask you, do you have a favorite memory in a library? I do, which is uh, I think kind of unique. Um, I have a very close friend who was the head librarian at the University of Virginia and I visited her and she took me into the archives and I had to wear uh, gloves and they brought out an original signed Declaration of Independence and I was able to hold it and see it. It was quite an experience. <laughs> what about you? Well, for me, it's um, as a child, uh, after school, going to the library. And um, that's really where I love to read. I love history. And, um, and that's really where my passion for it came from. So um, it's all about the role of a library in, in, in a child's life. That's right. And why is it important for East Cambridge Savings Bank to donate? You know, libraries are community centers. They are available to all, and um, and in some cases available for those who might not have um, uh, as many resources available to them in their own homes or through other uh, and through other means. So it is a community center. It's for all ages, and um, and there's just so much value to to building. Uh, young lives to to being a source for connection to the community so um, it, it's all about what it helps this community to unite so very very important yes and um, I, my feelings are that the uh, a library is a community center uh, and every community is quite different uh, Belmont uh, is, is uh, a diverse uh, community uh, probably housing many uh, uh, younger people who go to different uh, schools. And it's a great place to kind of meet people uh, and, and gain some interests together with people who you don't see every day. Now we're here at the library at the Czech presentation with... Kathy Cohane, Vice Chair of the Library Board of Trustees and a member of the Building Committee. And Marcy Shore Hirsch, the President of the Belmont Library Foundation and also on the Building Committee. Thank you so much for being here and we are so excited. We got the votes, yes. we got the okay, yes, we got the okay from the Select Board. What's next? The building. <laughs> um, we are working hard through the building committee to begin to lay out the specifics of the plan and create the blueprints for the construction, which will begin in a couple of years. 
That's right. And the community commit for $5 million. Yes. What do we want to tell them? Yeah. We want to say thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to support the project by being engaged and continuing to donate. Donate. We uh, were very uh, focused on raising the funds that we did, $5 million that we've committed to the project, and that is to defray the cost to the taxpayers. The library is such a valuable community asset, um, and we want to make sure that everyone can access it and will continue to fundraise. So. Stay involved, uh, stay informed. On the library website, we will have uh, access to the building project where people can get information about the project, about, and about me. giving if they want right, to continue. Right. right. <laughs> All gifts are welcome, any size, any shape, and we thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If you are interested in donating, please go to the website, belmontlibraryfoundation.org. For News Now, I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.